Hey guys, it's Coke from Math Challenge. Just wanted to give you a quick reminder that if you want to try the problems ahead of time before you watch my videos, please click on the link below where it says 100% free printouts. You can let, download them from my website and try them out. So today's challenge is part two of the Law of Average series. We will be using uh, bar graphs to think about averages. So without further ado, let's get our pencils out, thinking cap on, seat belts fastened. Let's go for that math ride. Oh. So let's start off by clarifying the bar graph down below. So these 76s, these represent my old average uh, test scores. So these are my old averages. And then I don't know what happened on a really good day, but I managed to score a 94 on my most recent test right here. So I can think of it as taking the difference of my newest test, which was 94, and my old average of 76, and find the difference to be 18 points. And because the average went from a 76 to a 78, that's a difference of two points. We can then say that each of these smaller rectangles are going to be worth two points each. So now that we know that each box is worth two points, we can then distribute this two into the old average and say that our new average is equal to 78 points. Now, how many tests did it take me to get there? Well, because the difference was 18 points, we can take the 18 divided by 2, and that will give me how many tests I had to take to get there. So I had to take a total of nine tests in order to raise my average by two points. So today's takeaway is that you can think about averages by looking at a bar graph. If you've missed my part one series on law of averages, please check it out. I'm going to put the thumbnail right up here and include the link under the video description. But in this example, when we are adding five consecutive numbers and there are an odd number of terms, in, in this case there are five, we know that the average is always going to be the middle number right here. And if we think about it from a bar graph standpoint, we can take each of these little yellow rectangles and distribute them right here. Put that right here. So we then know that the average is 10 all the way across. I hope you guys liked this video. Please be sure to hit the like button and smash that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it so much. Stick around for the joke of the day, and I'll see you guys next time on Math Challenge. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.